Hi guys, it's Chris the Bro for a Gamer, and I'm back with another video. Well, third. Yeah, third. And today, we are going to be playing Super Mario 3. Bam. Put my camera on my pillow. This is the cover. In case you really want all of these old games, because you've never played them, like Super Mario 3. Um, just get a Wii. And go to all stars. Well done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to world one, level one. Bam. This video has already nearly been a minute, and yeah. I uh, just need to get this mushy. I don't know why, but. Really? Sometimes it's unpredictable where the mushroom will go. No! I don't even want one level one! Sorry guys, it's just because I, I need to talk and play at the same time. And like... That means part of my brain needs to be focused on... The actual playing the game and the other half needs to be focused on talking no okay not funny shell not funny yeah i hate cooper shells especially the ones in this game they go so fast do you know why the older games are always harder than the more new uh, than the more recent games is because of the lack of power-ups. Well, not in this game. This game actually has a lot of them. It's because of the f fact you don't get one-ups if you touch the top of the flagpole. And there isn't even a flagpole in this, in this game. But you have a chance to get five up in this game. So this game, in my opinion, is more easier... And more fair than the earlier games. Like, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. You know, Super Mario, um... Like, sorry, the camera's a little bit wonky. Like, Super, Mar Super Mario Bros. And... Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. Especially lost levels. They only added one new power up. And guess what? It's not even a power up. It's just some sort of stupid purple mushroom that kills you if you poke if you even just touch it. I know it's kind of stupid. Yay, we're at the end. And I got a star. If you get three or uh so you can get a fire flower at the end. A star power, or a star, or you can get a mushroom. If you get three mushrooms in a row, you get two lives. If you get three stars in a row, you get five lives. Yeah, not one, not two, but five whole lives. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, look. Da -da! Just go here, some easy pop. Get out of here. Okay. Money! Yay. 64, my favorite number. Ooh. These red Goombas aren't as... If you see a red Goomba with wings... 
if you see a red Goomba with wings, it won't fly high up into the air. If you see a Goomba that is not red and has wings, be careful of those ones. Because they fly really high up in the air, and they have babies, apparently, as well. Look, there's one, there's one, here's one. Where is he, where is he gone? There he is. They're so annoying, and their babies actually slow you down. You can't even jump as high. After some time, they will go, though. Damn, come on. Okay, not funny, Mr. Goomba. There you go. Did you know? You can get a star at the end of the level if you run and hit the very bottom left corner. That's it. It is that easy to get a star. I'm seriously not joking. Okay, let's do this level. You can get a power-up called a Warp Whistle. They're extremely powerful. And if you activate a Warp Whistle, you can go to any world. Not any world, but a few worlds. Like, you can go to, like... If I warp from World 1, I can go up to World 4, I think. So to get the warp whistle, you need to stand here or crouch, but I can't crouch since I'm little. Wait, you need a mushroom. You have to crouch, otherwise it doesn't work. I just remembered that. Luckily, there is a mushroom over here. I can't lose this mushroom, otherwise I won't get my warp whistle. So you need to crouch. 10 seconds. Bam. Oh wait, no, I'm not at the background anymore. Okay. And now run back here. They, there's your whistle. Look. Bam. Your whistle. Yeah. There are only two whistles in the game. It's said in the instruction manual of this game that you can get three by getting one in the World 1 castle. But I couldn't get it for some reason. I just ended up glitching out and I had to start all the way from World 1 level 1 again. By that, I mean this castle over here. Every time you see a small castle like this, it's going to be a mini boss fight. And it's on this guy called Boom Boom, in case you don't know him. He appears in Super Mario 3D Land, 3D World. Um, and he also appears in the latest... 2D Mario games, New Super Mario Bros. U, and even on the Switch version, the deluxe version. Which, to be honest, Boo Boom isn't treated fairly. So, to get the warp whistle, you're supposed to go up here with the Tsunuki Leaf. But I, I ended up glitching out, so I'm not trying it again because I don't want to start the game again. From level one. You don't even have to crouch here. So yeah. Boom Boom isn't really a hard boss. If you pay attention you can beat Boom Boom quite easily, even if it's your first time fighting him. Pretend I'm someone who's playing my first time. You just need to jump on him three times. But then he gets really fast. And you have to be very precise, otherwise you won't get him. See? 
But usually speedrunners just like jump on him really quick quickly three times and just you know he's dead. I sometimes do that as well. <laughs> I'm going to start making longer videos soon as well. Because the ones right now I make are like 10 to 13 minutes-ish. And I personally think that's kind of short because most YouTubers have, you know, videos that go on for like... Um, what? 20 minutes? Yeah, because making YouTube videos sounds really easy, but <laughs> trust me, it took me about four hours to make my first gaming video. Easy level. I'm, I'm quite good at this game, by the way, as well, like, in case you haven't realised. These levels, the levels in this game are also particularly short. Like, you gotta admit, they aren't that long. See, I got three stars in a row in the bottom left corner, meaning I get five lives. Oh no, look, there is a hammer, bro. Um. Every time you see those weird, this weird guy on the world map, you have to fight him if you touch him. But there's a special power up that you can get to not fight him, to just skip him. So I've got one warp whistle, but I don't want to warp all the way to world eight straight away. Cause you know, I need to come prepared. If I don't come prepared, I might lose very far. I might get game over and a lot of game overs in World 8. That happened to me in two files, so hopefully in this file I will come prepared. Mine. Oh no, I don't have a Tanuki leaf, I can't fly up here. If you run really fast with a Tanuki Leaf, or a Tanuki Suit, or a P-Wing, or not with P-Wing, um, you can actually fly. I'm not even kidding. You can fly if you run really fast and just hammer the 2 button as much as you can. You just go up. Literally. Like, I'm not even joking. You saw in World 1, Level 1, I did that, didn't you? Mushroom, no! So, about the YouTube videos. Oh, look! If you get one of those things, that means you can play a, a mini game. It means you can play a mini game. This mini game. But you only get two tries. So that's one try lost. Yeah, match them. If you match a golden mushroom. Um, really? If you match a golden mushroom, you get a mushroom in your inventory here. Oh, look, I've got a star, fire flower, leaf, and a warp whistle. I'm going to get another power up here. So today's video is going to be longer than usual because like it's really not worth spending like three hours to make like just a 10 minute video. One of my friends is actually a YouTuber. But they don't have, you know. I might make like a 20 minute long video today. But my camera's on low battery. It's on five minutes left. It's only got five minutes. Uh, 
this airship level isn't too hard if you, you know, if you're fast and concentrate. Okay, I will concentrate in. Mushroom. Quickly jump. After I do this airship, I'll probably have to stop here. Because my camera's not showing any battery sign. Boss fight! Mm. 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 Oh damn, he's fast. Mm. So yeah guys, hope you had a, have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time. Yeah, of course I'll see you next time. When, when else will I see you? Nope. Yay, the princess is saved. Oh no, she's not. Ghosts, skitty. Well, two, yeah. Look, guys, I got 12 lives. Yeah, 12 lives. And I'm the world, two. My skull. These arrows show how fast you go in a level. If you go really fast, whether it's a nuki leaf, and it, go, and it gets on that P, and that P becomes red, then you can actually fly with the tanuki. So guys, hope you had a wonderful have a wonderful day today. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and just you know, please help me out because. Oh, also, if you wanna, you can suggest me. You can suggest me which game I should play. Should I play this game? Uh, should I play Super Mario 3 again? Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels by far the worst game in the world. Or Super Mario Bros. 2. Write in the comment section below and... I will see you next time. Oh yeah. Just please like and subscribe. Bye!